this video is about vacuum packing for long-term storage. So I'm going to first start with my dehydrated peas. Um, this is what you use for canning, and I also use it for um, packing my vacuum bags. And what I do is I put it in like this, and then I use it to uh, fill up my bags with. Now this costs about maybe a dollar or two at Walmart, so but fairly inexpensive. So that way I can take my peas and I can do this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an oxygen pack. Now this is a one gallon bag and these are 100 cc. So I'm going to use one 100 cc per gallon bag. So I'm going to place that in there like that and I'll put my bag in there. And you can see that the vacuum pack is in there. Now, this is a three mil bag. So if you were to go to um, Walmart or any other place and pick up a less expensive bag, you might as well just throw them right out because they're going to get leaks. And then your all your food is going to be wasted and you have to be thrown out. So your best bet is to go ahead and pay the extra money and buy the three mil bags. You can buy them online at different uh, companies, just make sure that they're at least three mil. And, you know, your vacuum packer, as long as it, if you're going to do high volume vacuum packing, then you're going to want um, a commercial vacuum packer that has two hoses in it. Okay, now your food saver has one hose in it. If you're going to do low volume, then your food saver is fine. But the most important part is the vacuum bag. Okay, and if you're going to do high volume, then you're going to have to splurge and get a commercial one. Okay, so no, normally what I do after I vacuum pack it is I'll take my saran wrap and I'll wrap it around the outside like this. A couple times. And this gives me added protection because a lot of the times I'll put two um, different um, items or the same item in one mylar bag. Now the Mylar bag is great because what this does is this deters the light, okay? And it, it's almost impossible to put a hole in these things. They're really, really strong. So um, you're going to want to take these and put these inside your Mylar bag. And now the Mylar bag is not vacuum sealable, okay? So what you're going to do is though is you're just going to seal it with your um, food saver or your whatever vacuum seal you have. So don't expect to um, pull the air out unless you have a really high dollar um, vacuum pack if it's a commercial one. So then what you would do is you would just put this down like this and seal it. Okay. So now you have a nice seal on it. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to label it, say what's inside of it, and then you're going to put the date on it. And you're going to do as I did over here. As you can see, I have in this one mixed veggies and corn, some peppers, some um, cheddar cheese, powdered cheddar cheese, and I have mushrooms over here, and cranberries. And then what I do, because I find this to be easy, is I take a large Tupperware container like this. Now, I always like the kind that have the clips on the side like this, okay? And then, what I do is I file them inside my containers. You can put everything up like that. That way you can read on the top. As you're going through, you can just go through and say, oh, this is, this is uh, veggies and beans. I'll take this one. So then you know what they're, they're labeled and they're easy to find. So I just stick them on here like this. And then I would start a second row over here. And now it's really easy for me to find things because it's all labeled at the top. And I just look to see what I need and then I pull it out. Okay, now you want to make sure that this is not clear. It has to be dark because you want to keep the light out of your container. So um, make sure that your containers are always um, 
dark and not translucent. Now I need to put your lid on it. And you can label on the outside what's in here. You can put everything, al alphabetize everything. It's your decision on how, how you want to do it, but then you can label the outside. And then you can stack all these up in your food storage area. And then you'll know exactly what everything is. Okay? Now, another thing you can do is you can use the um, buckets. And in the buckets, you can put a Mylar bag, a five-gallon Mylar bag. This is not a five gallon one, but the big five gallon mylar bags, you would line it with that. And then you would pour all your beans inside the mylar bags, put in a 2,000 cc oxygen pack, and then you would seal it either with your sealer or with an iron. And then you would push it down inside uh, your bucket and put the lid on it. Um, that's another great way to do it too. I don't like to do my beans 25 pounds at a time because if I open a 25 pound bag, of uh, beans. What am I going to do with 25 pounds of beans? So what I generally do is I'll, I buy my beans. This is a 25 pound bag of lima beans. And what I'll do is I'll take four cups at a time. Okay, here I have four cups of lima beans. And now what I do is I put them in a smaller vacuum bag. I add an oxygen pack. Once again, only one oxygen pack is needed because this is 100 cc. another vacuum bag over the years and getting a hole in it. So that works really well there. So what I have over here is this is a, a 50 pound bag of barley and this is a, a 50 pound bag of, I don't know if you can see or not, um, there you go, regular whole rolled oats. So this is an oatmeal, 50 pound bags of oatmeal, 50 pound bags of barley. And I'll do the same thing with the, um, the barley and the oats as I just did with the lima beans. I'll divide everything up in about four cups each and then I'll uh, vacuum pack it and then I'll store it that way. For me it's easier and I'm only opening four cups at a time. So now what I'm going to do now is to take each individual pack and I'm going to wrap it in. And I'll place each one of them inside of my love bag, label it, and pack it away. So what I have here is 25 pounds of bean, 50 pounds of barley, and 50 pounds of rolled oats. Now, on the um, lima beans, I have four cups in each bag and I have 13 bags out of my 25 pounds. I have uh, 26 bags of barley, and there's four cups in each bag. And then I have 32 um, bags of rolled oats, and there's eight cups in each bag. So this is how you would do it for your, your um, storage. Now this might seem like a lot of food, 
But in reality, this is only 13 days of beans, 26 days of barley, and 32 days of rolled oats. So it's really not a lot of food. It just looks like it is a lot. But it's good for 30 years when you pack it properly. Another thing you can do with your vacuum bag is you can take all your spaghetti and you can put them in one large vacuum bag, throw in an oxygen pack, leave them inside the boxes. Now this box here has been stored for a year. And as you can see, it's nice and hard. The spaghetti is nice and fresh. And this bag has not punctured or obtained any air inside of it. Uh, it's nice and strong, and it's been this way for an entire year. So your best bet, like I said before, is three mil and up on your vacuum bags. Okay. Another thing you can do with your vacuum sealer um, is you can take your soaps. For emergencies, you'll have all your soaps still in the box, vacuum sealed, with wash rags inside. So this way, it keeps if there's any rain or moisture or somehow um, it was to get wet, um, your soap wouldn't get wet, your boxes wouldn't fall apart because everything is sealed inside this uh, vacuum bag. And I sealed this one about a year and a half ago. And it's still nice and hard and, and good. Another thing you can do is you can seal blankets. I have three blankets in this vacuum bag here. And I did this one about a year and a half ago, too. And um, this is great because your blankets are nice and fresh. It's, it's compact, so you don't have to worry about this great big blanket around. It's great for putting inside your car for emergencies to always have uh, clean blankets around. So there's a lot of things you can use your vacuum packer for. So that's why I have a high volume vacuum packer because I vacuum pack everything. And um, that's how you vacuum pack and store food.